When your website and scheduling software work well together, everything gets easier. I'm sharing tips and tricks to help you make that happen. I'm willing to bet you've created a luxurious and beautiful environment inside your business. Every detail was chosen carefully to create a great experience. But what about your website? If you're an appointment-based business and you use MindBody as your scheduling software, I'm betting there's one detail that might not be quite right. One detail that doesn't say luxury or beauty, and that's your MindBody appointment scheduler. The truth is, straight out of the box, the MindBody appointment scheduler is just not pretty. Nothing about it says luxury. Simply put, it doesn't reflect your brand, but it can. So with a few simple changes, you can give your clients an appointment scheduling experience that matches the excellence they find inside your business. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. All it takes is adding some custom styling via CSS or cascading style sheets code into your widget. The good news is I'm gonna give you that code, so all you're gonna to need to do is cut and paste it and update it with your brand colors. And then you can bring your appointment booking widget experience into this decade. So first the before and after. This is what the MindBody branded web appointment widget looks like right out of the box with just straight copying and pasting the code that they give you. This demo is on a Squarespace website, but if I go to design custom CSS and I paste in a bit of code again that I'm gonna give you, you can see the styling and the look of it changes immediately. Let's take a closer look at the things that we've changed to bring this into the modern age of design. In general, we just cleaned up a lot of the filters and how these look. We've made the widget itself be full width or full the, fill the space that you give it on your website to be. We've rounded the corners and kind of made it, given it a kind of a modern look right there. We've changed the colors and made the uh, nice circle uh, accents to where the selected week that you're choosing. And then when someone actually fills it out and they choose what they want and they hit search, We've also styled the results that it populates to match the brand colors and the business look as well. So you can see that the results look pretty nice as well with this new styling. Before we get into how to use this code, I want to give a quick shout out to Heather Tovey, who's the master developer here at Pixality. She helps us create some amazing looking customizations for our website clients, and she agreed to give this code that she wrote away for free. So big thanks to Heather for that. I think a lot of businesses will benefit from this. All right, so from the beginning, we're going to get started in Squarespace, and you're going to create the page that you're going to add your appointment booking widget to. In this case, we just added some text to explain the three steps to scheduling the appointment and a little note about looking forward to seeing them. So if we click edit into the page that you've got that built on, you're going to find a spot that you want to add your appointment widget to, and you're going to find a code block. You're going to add a code block right there and delete the default text that says hello world. Now, I like the appointment widget to be um, just half a screen. Uh, you can use spacers in Squarespace to make it the size that you want. I don't think it needs to be full screen. I think it gets um, a lot of the important information will get pushed down too low on the screen if you've got it full screen. So I recommend using it, uh, making it about the space of about half the screen or if not a little bit less, depending on the width of your site. So we've got a code block in our Squarespace site. We're going to head over to MindBody Branded Web Manager. So if you haven't used Branded Web before, on most subscription levels at MindBody, it's included. It is a sub account, so you may need to get with them to figure out what your login and your password is for it. But you can find it at brandedweb.mindbodyonline.com. And it's the sub account of your MindBody account that creates all the purchase links and all the widgets that you can add to your website to bring that core booking and buying functionality onto your own website. So once you're logged into your branded web account, you can click the orange button to create new widget, and we're gonna be looking for an appointment widget. So you can scroll through and make some changes here down under advanced options. You can choose uh, what appointment types you want to show, what locations, if you have multiple locations, what instructors you want available. You might have some staff members who aren't uh, actually providing this type of appointment, so you might wanna filter them out. But you can choose those uh, options right here in branded web. Once you're done with that, you're going to go down to the bottom and you're going to click the orange save and deploy button. And then you're going to click copy to copy this little bit of script code onto your clipboard and you're going to head back over to your Squarespace site and you're just going to paste that into the code block here and hit apply. 
and then hit save on your page. So now you see we've got that basic default appointment widget. It is functional. People can actually book with you on it, but it's not pretty yet, and we're about to change that. So you're going to go over to my blog, and I will link this up on my YouTube description if you're watching this video on YouTube. And in this blog post, I've got this whole bit of code here. You're going to copy the whole thing all the way down to the bottom. You're going to copy that, and you're going to go back to your Squarespace site, go to Design, Custom CSS, put it right at the top of the window, and you're going to hit Paste and you're going to paste it in. The default code I have for you, it has a black and gray color. So if that works with your branding, that's all you need to do and hit save, refresh the page, and you should have a really nice looking appointment widget ready to go. And there we have it, that's looking pretty good. If black does not match your branding, I'm gonna show you next how to change the colors to match your branding. One other thing to note though, you can paste that code in to, right into the branded web manager where you created that widget. You can paste that CSS code in there and it should do the same thing in theory. I have found better results with pasting it actually into my website. Um, more of the stylings uh, have, or less of the stylings have problems and uh, it's a little easier to adjust the colors once it's on your own website. Once you paste it into the branded web manager widget itself, it ends up kind of condensing all the code together and it's harder to find those exact color codes. So if you want to modify the colors from black, uh, I recommend you that you paste this code into your website CSS settings and then you can modify from there. So once you've got the base code in, if you'd like to further modify the colors, there are five spots in this code that you can go in and change the color codes to your brand code. First, before you do that, you'll want to actually have the hex code or the six digit color code for the color that you want that matches your brand handy. So the first spot is going to be line 33 in this code. And this is why I, one of the reasons why I recommend just pasting it into the custom CSS window in Squarespace at the very top so that you can follow along with these line numbers. Um, they will change if you're pasting them into any other platform or into the MindBody widget window itself. So in this case, we're going to go down to line 33, border color. So this is going to be the border color that's around these filters once they're selected. So once I select something, you can see there's a black outline around that. So in this case, uh, we're going to change everything to this like navy blue that's their brand color. So that color code, because I know what that is, is 003D5C. So I'm just going to paste that in there. And then for future, I'm going to just copy that so I can paste it. Okay, so we've got that border color changed. So now you can see it's a little hard to see because it's going from blue to or from black to blue, but that color has changed there. So the next spot you're going to want to scroll down to is line 108. Scroll all the way down 108. Again, we've got black. The black color code is 000000. 000. So anytime you see that, that's calling black into that color. But we're going to replace that with the blue. And that one was the active date. So just the date, um, the dates that are highlighted right there, you can see those change to blue. The next one we're going to find is line 156. 156 right here is the button background. So you can see that's black right now. We're going to change that with our color. And now that's changed to blue as well. Another thing, once you're down here, you can see this border radius on line 151. That's what gives it the nice rounded corners there. But if you wanted um, clean uh, squared off things, you could just change that border radius to zero and it would make it a square. You could also change it to um, like 30 or something big like that if you wanted to make it a full pill shape. The next one we're going to change is down here on line 165. This is the background color for the results buttons. Once we actually went through the booking process and we saw all those results, those also have buttons that they can choose the select time. So we're going to change that to the blue to match this button as well. And in that case, we'll also change the, uh, the border radius as well to match. So we'll, that, we'll keep that as pill shape at 30 right now. And that gets the basic colors changed of the widget. The other one you might want to consider changing is these little the gray circles that are background. And that's back up here on line 106. And that's going to be in an RGBA color style. So that's a little different than the hex codes that you know. 
um, but you can kind of Google around and figure out the equivalent. Every hex code has an RGBA, RGBA color code as well. The first three indicate what color it's going to be, and then the last one, which is a decimal point, uh, indicates how transparent it's going to be. So this is a, a gray that we have much lighter because it's faded back. It's a background color on those circles. Um, but in this case, I'm going to make it this kind of um, peachy nude color. I'm going to make that match right there because that's our soft brand color right there. So in that case, I know these colors are 235, 231, and 229. So now we've got a nice um, kind of different tone there that matches our branding a little bit better. So we're going to hit save. And now we have a completely customized, modern, makeover accomplished of our mind body appointment widget. And as you know, every detail truly does count when it comes to an online booking experience that your clients will feel comfortable with and will feel matches the experience that you're giving within your studio as well. Your website makes a lasting impression on your clients. So if you follow these simple steps, grab the code from my blog, you can create an appointment experience that your clients will love. My website design services balance the power of mind body with the beauty and simplicity of Squarespace. Get a website that really works for your fitness or wellness business. Visit pixalitydesign.com to learn more.